Blue Water Farm is this piece of land in Andover, New Hampshire. This piece of property has been one piece of property for over a hundred years. And first it was a farm, then it was a girls camp. I had had this vision in my head for a long time of a place on a lake with hills and mountains in front of it and hills behind it with horses on them. And then I came here and there it was. It is incredibly peaceful. And I also like the small town aspect of it. The foliage is amazing. It's stunning and because you have the lake to look across, you see the whole hillside because you don't have trees right in front of you. So you just see the whole thing and the mixture of the trees that change color, the deciduous trees and the evergreens, it's, it's pretty gorgeous. Uh, it's a pretty pristine lake. It's also the town's water supply, so it'll stay pristine. This lake has five little islands, and Blueberry Island is the nearest and the largest, and it has tons of blueberry bushes on it. And my kids camp out on it. That's their favorite thing to do when they have someone coming to visit, is take them to camp on the island. They do very old-fashioned, simple things. They canoe, they kayak, they swim, they hike. Hiking around here is gorgeous. Uh, you look right at Mount Kearsarge from all the cottages, from the whole property, really. And there are great trails up there, but most of them just come here, breathe a sigh of relief, and stay right here. It's a great place for adults who just find the peacefulness, such a break from their busy lives, and for kids because they get to enjoy the simple pleasures, you know, board games, canoeing, swimming, catching frogs. They find ways to amuse themselves out in nature, and it's so undisturbed here. It's just gorgeous and peaceful. As we enter Blue Water Farm, the first thing you'll see on the right is the old gatehouse. It's like a tiny little colonial house. Two stories, front porch, and on your left is the ice house, which is a seasonal cottage. It's kind of two stories, it has a loft, and that's right on the lake side. The third building is on the left on the water side. It's a one bedroom year round apartment with a dock, et cetera, and a really big lawn. Then keep going down. The next house is on the right. It's the old original farmhouse and there are three apartments in there. And then up the hill from there is a horse barn with about 22 stalls, an indoor riding ring, pastures all around for the horses. There are, I think, five pastures, a big outdoor riding ring. As you continue down, there's another building on the left. It's now a wood shop. It used to be a year-round apartment. The next driveway on the left is my house. And then you keep going, and on your right, as you go, there's a building we call it the Old Barn, and the next building is the Carriage House, also on the right with a big farmer's porch. In front of the lodge, there is a seasonal cottage called the Beach Cottage. Gorgeous views, two stories, sleeps four. The lodge was built in the late 30s, and then they also built the 10 camper cabins, and each of the camper cabins sleeps eight, the lodge sleeps 40. The last building is the lake house, which is down past the lodge, a really private seasonal cottage that sleeps for as well. And then up on top of the hill, overlooking the lake, is the chapel. Open air, seats 100, an amazing place for any kind of gathering. You know, a lot of people call this a slice of heaven or a little piece of heaven. 
It's a really wholesome place and it's peaceful.